Hey everybody, uh, so I know it's Easter, I know you guys are probably doing stuff with family or did stuff with family, and I know I kind of did this, I think, a week ago, but what I thought I'd do is record this live so everybody can watch it later. I took down the old live stream because I didn't have the producer here, who is here now. Hello! Uh, she's going to read your comments while I play. I'm going to do all the tracks, including a hidden track I did not play on the last one. If you're just finding the channel, this is a Hydro Thunder real arcade cabinet I bought I've been working on fixing it up. If you want to know more about it, there's a link in the description that uh, shows you at least the first video I've made. I haven't released the second one yet, but that is coming this week. So, we'll do the first, we'll just play through the easy tracks, medium, and then hard and ultra hard. And then, after that, I'll probably do, uh, maybe show some of the hidden boats you can play as, too. Alright, so I am recording this live. It looks like the chat is kind of on the screen, which is good for you guys watching it later. I'm going to try to make it bigger, though. Whoops, there we go. Hopefully it's more visible, but... Anyway, um... So we've got DeMello here, Saturn is here, Riley's here, Flemish Lion, Lamarck, and Fighter's Choice. Alright, I'm gonna start now. Thunder. Choose your track. I hope the volume's good. I had to turn it pretty far down. Thunder Park. Happy Easter. Choose your boat. Happy Easter, Saturn. Actually, let me turn this down just a little more, because this is... Uh, there's really not a good in between. Let's see if this works. Let me know in the chat if you can hear me and the game well enough. Tidal Blade! There are hit oh sorry, go ahead. Pretty good on the 64. I think Dreamcast, as far as home, I think the Dreamcast is probably the best for the console versions, but I like the PC version a lot too. I didn't mean to get all these boosts so early on. But. Yeah, I figured why not get it get it all done. Uh, it's Easter, I figure you guys are probably home by now and some of you guys are bored by now too. This won't be a super long stream, though. It's just going to be long enough to get the gameplay done and then I'll end it. That way people watching it later don't have to see an hour and a half long video and only some of its gameplay. Any complaints on the volume or anything? Okay, is it, I feel like I, I have to yell because the speakers are facing me and it's so loud. But if I turn it down more, I don't know if they'll be able to hear it as well. I had to get that. I know there's a hidden boost. And I also thought I'd better do this now because the heat coming for the next couple days is going to be pretty crazy here, or the next week. It's going to be well into the 90s, almost 100 degrees on Wednesday, so... Flemish says the volume is too high to hear you. Okay. A little bit too high. I'll fix it at the end of this race. Is, that's the last setting I've got before it's just totally off. But I think that'll probably be better. I, I forget the microphone's over here by the camera. Hopefully that's better. Alright. I have an itch. I had to fish a dead rat out of our storage earlier today. That was fun. Uh, Jeremy, the game is more fun though when the volume is high <laughs> it is the seat really rumbles i have the woofer turned up in the seat it's cool you can adjust that separately and i have these the, these speakers are only at like 14 percent when i play and that's extremely loud what you guys heard it was at like six i don't know what it is now it's on the lowest setting it won't let you go to mute but there's volume settings in the coin door and that's the lowest as it goes so i hope it balances out nicely Demello's God, this game is epic. Or this this epic game. I love this game. Um, it's probably the newest arcade game that I truly love. And this is probably right at the last little bit of me ever caring about, you know, being really passionate about uh, new arcade games. Now, I do like H2 Overdrive a lot, but this one's way better to me, in, in my opinion. Um, Flemish Lion. Didn't you have a secret boat when you used the boost? 
So there's four secret boats, I believe. Uh, I think I'm not talking out of my butt here. I'm gonna play as all of them. One of them is like the tiny Tannic. I'm gonna see if I can pull this move off. Look at that, that was good. Um, and the tiny Tannic does have one of like the smokestacks turns backwards and shoots out a huge uh, boost. Oh, I totally missed that because the screen was shaking so much. Oh man, that is so loud. Yeah, loud you, can heal, you can hear my wheel, my force feedback on the wheel going like crazy because the volume's so much lower <laughs> now, but. Anyway, and then there's also the Chum, I think it's Chum Dinger, it's like a little fishing boat with a dog on it, and a huge uh, booster comes out of the motor, I guess, after that. I think I might break my record, which I've been working hard at getting this record that I've got. Let's see. I always do the best when people are watching and I'm distracted, so maybe I should do more uh, good runs on live on YouTube, and maybe I can have a better chance of getting better stuff. Come on. Monk, monkey man? That's what I always say. I hope that's right. Uh, hello there, I'm in the stream. Hey, you monkey man. I just beat my best score by like millis or tenths of a second, whatever. Um, oh yeah, you guys can't see the wheel at all this time, but... Oh well. So you can see I've played quite a bit. I've been playing this a lot. Um, my name has already taken over pretty much all the leaderboards. Except for the levels, I don't play that much. Rad Hazard. So there is a cheat that I never knew about until I bought this, to where you can race with no AI characters or players around you. And I guess I could show that one on Arctic Circle next, or maybe on Lake Powell, because it, it'd be nice to get the best score possible without these guys bumping me off course. Here we go. So... Yeah, about the heat. I, that's why I wanted to do this today. If I waited any longer, I don't think I could have been streaming from the garage. I can't believe it's getting so hot so quickly here, but I hope it doesn't last. It's a little too early to be this hot, I think. I mean, we're going from, like, today it was 70-something, and then three days from now it's going to be almost 100. I have no idea if that does anything, but I always do that throttle move. This boat is so hard to control, but it's so fast. And I miss that. You may have seen, some of you guys may have seen my Hydro Thunder PC version of this. And that was cool and all, but I mean, the PC version is actually really close from what I can tell, but um, of course, nothing beats actually playing on the real arcade hardware and the real arcade cabinet. Something I've never been able to say I can do on live stream until now. Oh boy, there it is. And I'm beating my best time. This is another track that I've already played a lot. I don't know if you guys can even hear producer Christine back there. I mean, she's not talking much, but... Nobody said anything. Okay, you may talk really loud when you... Uh... I'm just as close to the microphone as you are. Okay, but it's facing me, and I can barely hear you. It seems like in between the game making noise. All right, beat my time by, like, point... Three or point zero three of a second. Can you guys hear me? Let me know in the chat. Did I eat chocolate? I feel like Riley knows me too well. What's going on? Do I have chocolate everywhere? No. Where Remember did I had you that? see chocolate? I see it on the chat down there. Are you not? Oh. If you scrolled, you may be missing stuff. No, I have apparently no internet. Uh oh, producer is failing me. So I. I did eat chocolate earlier today. I never really eat ice cream, but we were in Austin and... Oh yeah, let me do the cheat really quick. You hold low in pilot view and then pull down and this little thing pops up down there and you don't have AI characters to play against. There we go. It's loading now. Apparently... I thought it was weird when you said nobody said anything. But... So yeah, I, I, Amy's ice cream in Austin. I didn't want to go there, but we... I was parked outside of a place while Christine went in somewhere, and I was just watching everybody go in and get ice cream, so I got a little six-ounce cup of dark chocolate ice cream. And every time I eat ice cream or eat chocolate, anything, Christine can tell you, it gets all over me for some reason. All over. It looks like I crap my pants, like it falls down onto my pants, and I, forget, I don't realize it's there. It'll and like, go between his legs, so it'll literally <laughs> look like he crapped his pants. Yeah, I'll have like a chocolate stain on me, and it looks a little suspicious at times. Oh, James nose. just popped in. Who? Jake Wally. Oh, Wally. Okay, I'm sorry, James. I don't know. I don't know who you want to call. Or Aaron. Aaron. God, he's got so many names. <laughs> he's like a fancy guy, you know, like 
Uh, James Aaron Wally Spitzenberg the fifth. I don't know what that. Um, I'm just going for this. Oh, Saturn it didn't work. says, uh, work. "Lady uh, Zach asked Lady Cag any special Easter food." Uh, no, we got ice cream and that was it. We don't. Yeah. We're not really religious. We don't have kids. Yeah, we kind of we would not have known it was Easter unless you know. Yeah. I, if I didn't see the calendar, I would or the news probably. I would never have known. I'm losing internet again. Uh oh, you may have to. I put it on here, 140p. Uh, tether to your phone and just close the... You can do the pop-out chat so you don't have to have the video data coming through. Uh, can I just pop, I guess? Or well, can pop I just close chat. the window? I've got the pop-out chat. Oh, yeah, chat. and you can close the other window and it should oh, still okay. work. Oh, yeah. okay. So you don't have to pull so much data and maybe it'll work better. Good thing I didn't try to stream. I'm actually wired into our network right now in the garage because uh, I knew I wouldn't have enough Wi-Fi in the garage to pull off the stream. I might have beat my score again. What's going on? I gotta, I gotta do this can live. Can you see that I said Wally? Yes. Okay. I can. Um, hey, Frank. I see Frank just popped up. I uh, see. I'm not getting anything yet. Spitzenberg. <laughs> see, I'm, I don't have any of that. Let me, I guess, reload it. Yeah. If you may have to go back to YouTube, grab it again. If if you disconnect it, it may have lost connection to it. So you may have to reopen everything and do it again. What a pain. Nothing ever goes smooth. I'm gonna cheat again, guys. Oh. Or not. What's happening here? My cheat's not working. Okay, I guess I'm not cheating. Um, YouTube will not load. Are you on cellular? No, not yet. Hmm. Sorry, little technical difficulties. I'm going to keep going. Um, we'll catch up with the chat. I'm trying to keep this moving since this is going to be staying up on YouTube and hopefully found by people later on to watch. I love that, like, hidden loading screen right there, where... They have, like, no signal on the phone either. Jeez, what is happening? Um, well, you can always just turn the laptop carefully around. Oh, I messed this up royally. Oh, it worked out, though. Anyway, I love that hidden loading screen where you can hear the engine starting up. I mean, that was before arcades were not very... I guess they wanted to be quiet about loading screens, maybe, because, you know, consoles loaded, not arcades, and... It's clearly that's what it's doing, but it doesn't say loading or anything. I think now the new arcades will just flat out tell you, I'm loading, just wait a little bit. All right, here we go. All right, we're back on the chat. Yes. Um, Saturn says the name Hydro Thunder is a good choice. I think so, especially when you sit in this seat, it feels like thunder with this subwoofer rumbling in your butt. Uh, not to be too gross, but it kind of tickles the old taint region if you're not wearing a lot of clothes, I've found. <laughs> not that I sit here naked or anything, but, you know, I'll sit here. Sometimes I'll come out. It's in my garage, so if I'm just wearing my boxers or some thin shorts, I'll come out here and play, and too much rumbling is like, ooh, that tickles a little too much. <laughs> it, you know, anyway. Riley says, Chris Lady Keg is funny sometimes. Sometimes. He, he's the funny guy. She's pretty funny, actually. She did, what would you, I don't Probably whatever you did earlier wouldn't Battery. be funny to everybody. What? The batteries. What? The no. batteries are low. Time I don't even remember now, apparently. What was it? The Arlo camera. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, no one's going to get that in the chat, so we don't need to rehash that one, but... Uh, oh, that was weird. That didn't go as I planned. That was kind of like a glitch. Flemish Lion said Arcade Diarrhea. <laughs> Is that what? Hydro Thunder? I don't know. I don't know oh, that was a terrible time, but I've actually really tried hard to get this one. If you can't see... Oh, you can see it. It looks pretty good, actually. Good. I need some Frank, water. Frank, hi again, guys. Uh-oh. Bump this camera. Hi, Frank. Um, <sighs> okay. Hi, Keep going. Saturn going. says I have a different PFP now. I don't know what that is. PFP. I don't know. I, I can't think of what it is. Let's see. Why isn't my... That's really weird. It will not let me do my cheat again. That's interesting. Oh, Arcade Diarrhea, your chocolate pants. Your Cho chocolate, yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. All right. Um, we have a go. Flemish Lion, does the producer play it? Uh, you have played a few races, yeah, actually. I have. Um... There is a, a little secret up here, by the way, guys. I'm going to try to get it. Let's see. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, it didn't go smoothly, but it's it's here. Someone actually told me about this on YouTube, and I didn't even know it existed. But 
it is a pretty good shortcut if you don't mess up the entrance like I did. Oh, come on. There we go. Let me take out this pirate ship. Monk man, Monkey Man says, even though it's a Hydro Thunder live stream, I think about to talk the AI difference uh -oh. from the AI between MK2 and Killer Instinct 1. Oh, okay. I think I know what he's talking about from last night's stream. Whoa. Um, Saturn says, Killer Instinct's AI is more flushed out and forgiving. Definitely. I think that they designed that game thinking we want you to have fun. We don't want you to be miserable. I'm skipping that purposely to hopefully get into... Oh, not getting it. I was in the air. So there's another secret above this, but it's not that big a deal. This guy, man, is pushing me all over the place. There is another one of those hidden um, boosts that are up here. There's probably more that I don't even know about, but I know of this one for sure that I'm going to hopefully get and show you guys. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Wow, I'm going... <laughs> the waves were just all over the place. I got that one. This is not going to be a good run on this track, but let me jump over the middle here, and this is where that hidden one is. It's a four-second boost. There's, yeah, there's another one up here. Yeah, the, the waves are a little weird on this game. Oh, I just knocked this guy. Oh, almost in the first place. All right. So some of the chat may be a little delayed. I can see people commenting on things that I said a while ago, so don't worry about that stuff if you remember. I accidentally put CXJ in there. That's the level on accident. The The wheel is very sensitive in that area. Monkey Man says MK2's AI is actually much, much more awkward than Killer Instinct's AI. MK2 is? Yeah, well... KI is like, it has a good ramp up. Uh, spinal is always really difficult if you're not good with him or against him. Full gore, same thing. And, you know, the first few players, you'll get through them pretty easy. It makes sense. Let's put it that way. It makes way more sense than the MK2 AI, which is easy on character one, two, three, it starts ramping, and four, it's nearly impossible unless you just get lucky or you're just really good at, you know, knowing the AI's tricks and all that. Get this boost. Oh. Uh, Saturn, he said I have a different PFP now. That's profile picture. Okay, well. It's red now. I can't we aren't hip, hip apparently to all the YouTube lingo. He says he found a website with a bunch of killer instinct art and scans. That's my new place for profile pics. Oh, nice. Oh, I'm not going to get that one. Uh -oh. So I think my throttles are not... Something's not tuned right or or something. I've calibrated it in this menu, but sometimes my jumps don't work as well as they do like on the PC version where I just use buttons instead of a throttle. And we're going down. Okay, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Demello, Chris, don't let your wife sit in that seat. <laughs> oh, she geez. ends up divorcing you. I, I, I'm, yeah, I'm not going to comment too much. Keeping it PG. But I know what you're saying. I gotta keep it PG since this is gonna replay later. Ooh, barely got that one. I really don't know if that's worth it time-wise, but it's still fun to get it. Monkey Man, uh, back to the AI. For example, the AI can do a high kick before you move and do damage to you. Melina, Luke, and Katana are actually more impossible because if you jump, good luck. True. Melina actually has that trick, though, where you can, like, just jump kick her ahead of time. If you get in that right groove with it, you can kind of take her out that way pretty easily. Yeah, I just beat my best time and didn't even... I didn't think I was going to, that's for sure. Oh, I haven't knocked off everybody yet. CCC and some other names down there. Hi, bro. Thunder. Flemish Lion, I always wonder if there weren't any more secrets in Killer Instinct. I do, too, but I think a lot of the stuff's been found at this point um so in ship graveyard the sanford and son song plays in a short spot um i don't think i can do it now oh there it goes okay so i think i was trying to do it on the wrong page but you may be able to hear it without all the other stuff going on i'll try to point it out when it comes through if you look on the i think the cutting room floor website it they detect that that's in the sound and they don't know what it's used for but it's actually in the game it's just hard to hear 
I think that's where I saw that at least. I... Oh no, that's not it. It wasn't them. It was a, a YouTube thing I saw. They didn't know where the song was actually played or why it was in the game's sounds, but that's why. So no AI, we should be able to hear it. And I can try to point it out. Uh oh. Saturn, they call it Mortal Kombat 2 because after two fights it becomes madness. Oh, that was terrible. Yeah, I agree. So, I don't know if uh, James is still here. I didn't want to say Wally again because it's not really his name, but uh, it's Mr. Spitzenberg. <laughs> um, I don't know if he's still here, but I, I know he's been watching me uh, with the build, but did, did you ever play this game, James? I would like to know. Oh, here we go. Let's see if I can do it. Oh, I totally talked over the the Sanford and Son song. So when I'm showing off the other boats, I'll pick this stage and you can hear it. I messed that up. Sorry. It's a very short little clip of it. Oh, yeah. That was a good good jump, but not good enough, apparently. Pick a beat says what, what's up, bro. Pika beats. How's it going? Oh, God. I know he's uh, about to start doing his own mod of an arcade one up. Uh oh, this is so hard to control right here. I can barely get that one. The waves are just insane. And I purposely skipped that waterfall. I'm just gonna keep going. My time's terrible anyway. But I purposely skipped the other waterfall shortcut to see if it was faster. There is another one back there. Come on. Jump to the finish. Not bad. Need more water. How's your your uh, internet set it or internet working now? Good, I guess. Okay. Um. Choose your track. Venice canals. We're getting into the ultra hard stuff now. Riley says, "I hope the Winnipeg Jets win." Hope they Winnipeg Jet win. Here we go. Pick a beat says, "Yeah, I'm scared." LOL. Hello, Mrs. Cag. You don't. Don't be scared. I mean, you can't mess it up too badly unless you cut a hole somewhere you shouldn't, but uh, it, it's not going to be too tough. What's he working on? Uh, he's going to mod an arcade one up, I think, using my video. Oh, but to make what? I really can't remember. I'm, no offense to anybody who messages me, but I get a lot of messages and I truthfully... Oh my god, that was really rude. I have a lot of trouble remembering the threads of everything going on. Like, I'm sorry. I get tons of messages and questions and stuff, so trying to tie everybody to their project is a little difficult. I, uh, oh. while he wasn't, he left the chat because of his kids being crazy. Oh, okay. That's what they but do. But he did, he said I did at Chuck E. Cheese. He used to play. I oh, play okay. Right. So I was thinking, I wonder if he's just into the build or if he likes the game. <laughs> no, I just think he's into you. <laughs> oh, well, that's very nice. All my friends have oh, man my. crushes on you. <laughs> well, that's fine. <laughs> because I'm mysterious. I don't show up to things. I'm quiet. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So there's a lot of cool secrets you can do. Or not secrets, but like how I jumped. Oh my god. Barely got that. Oh, and there is a hidden boost right there. A nine-second boost hidden in that chandelier. But there's a lot of little track secrets here. Like you can jump over that wall and save a ton of time. I did a pretty sloppy run on this one, but Still. Pick a beat oh. says he's modding an MVC cab. God, no. I know he's, yeah, but what do you, I think he's just keeping it that, though, right? What's MVC? Marvel vs. Capcom. I think oh. he's keeping it that uh, theme, I think. I, I guess the question was, are you changing the theme? I can't remember. That was a horrible run. I'm very upset about that run. But we can always go back. I mean, once I get through the, the main stuff, we can always go back. <laughs> Joe Lupa. Joe Lupa? Yeah. Oh, okay. It'd be really cool if you could somehow put your H2 overdrive setup in that same cabinet with some kind of way to switch it. So this was your question earlier, remember? Mm -hmm. uh, it may be possible, for all I know. Like, they may have... I don't think they used the Diego board, though. So this is one of my absolute favorite levels, Nile Adventure. It's the hardest one in the game. Longest level, probably, too. But I love it. And if I can nail everything, it's even more fun. A lot of little secrets in this one that help. I think I just messed the jump up. Oh, I got it. Okay, cool. He's not changing the theme, so he's okay. going to keep it Marvel versus. So maybe that's why I'm always confused. Like, wait a minute. I know you have. I knew the cabinet you were going to mod, but I couldn't come up with what you were going to turn it into, and maybe that's why I was confused. I still love that point blank we talked about on that live stream last night. Riley 
Riley asks if you have a favorite baseball team. I never watched baseball a day in my life, Riley. I'm sorry. And I hate it just because my grandfather used to make me watch it. It was so boring. I mean, I'm sure, like, if you're into it, it's cool, but I'm, I'm not all that into it. I love this level, all the, the effects that happen and the subwoofer stuff. Here we go. Oh, that was a pretty good landing right there. This is a very big secret that gets you pretty far ahead time-wise, and you get a bunch of extra boost from it. If you land it just right, you'll get... You usually don't even touch the water there. You fly almost all the way over, and then you really get a lot of extra speed. So if you can do that and then get a good run the rest of this track, you're pretty good to go. Oh, come on. Saturn says, yeah, it sucks that it's not an actual cabinet by Arcade One Up. Point blank, I'm assuming? I don't know. No, I think that was before you said that, so okay. I don't know. Oh, God. So all these little things sticking out on the edge of this canal area are gonna slow you down. Oh, I missed that. That's bad. I gotta get this one then. Pick a beat. is changing that. the theme of a cab hard. Not really. All you gotta do is buy a new art kit and stick it on the side, really, and you know, change all the other art. But... Like, that's how I made... Oh, barely got that. That's how I made my Killer Instinct. I just took a Street Fighter 2 cabinet. That's how I made a lot of my cabinets. Took that, uh, stuck new art over the sides of it, and put a new marquee on, and all that. So I don't think I'm beating my best time, but I'm doing okay. My best time on here is three seconds even across the board. Frank At least on here. I'm scared to add the graphics to the deck. It's actually really the, easy. Yeah, the deck's not so bad. I'm more afraid of the sides, personally, but that's why I have the uh, producer here. She's Adam, really good at all that. Adam Phillips, why am I just learning this game has a jump button? Well, it's actually on the side... I don't know if you may not have seen a cabinet that had the side stuff. Uh, I think this, you're too zoomed in. Yeah, to see it. there's bezels on the side that actually explain that you can jump and get a super boost and all that. I'm gonna try to get this one. Let's see. Oh god, the eye screwed me. But all you have to do is pull, take the throttle all the way down into the reverse set or reverse area, and then press the boost button, and your boat will like leap up out of the water. That's not a bad time. Best time's three even, three oh one seventeen. Saturn, fun fact, in one of the Conker's Idol animations, Conker's oh, Idol um, animations, he pulls out a Game Boy Color and plays a non-existent port of Killer Instinct 2. What? Oh, Conker, I know what yeah. you're saying. Yeah, yeah, we, we saw that before. Yeah. Oh, and right. also in Crash Bandicoot, like the Christmas card or something, there's a Killer Instinct, and we always thought that was going to tease. Yeah. I was teasing that they were... Here, really quick, is Hydro Speedway, which is a hidden track on here. I truly forgot it existed until I looked at the audits and it hadn't been played much, but all you do is hover over Lake Powell, press the pilot button three times on the arcade, and it'll change to uh, Hydro Speedway. Uh, Riley, fun fact about NHL Open Ice Challenge. It was one of the last NHL games to have the Winnipeg Jets and Hartford Whalers because they moved to Phoenix and North Carolina in the late 90s. Interesting. I know nothing about hockey, so everything you tell me is a fun fact to me. I don't know much. Uh oh, come on. I don't like these tracks very much where you have to do a, a circuit. I think I said that. Let's see, can I jump over that? Oh, nope, definitely can't. All right. I don't really like the circuits because, uh oh. Well, that was interesting. The boosts. Yeah, the boosts disappear. So when you come back around on the second lap, you have, like, nothing if you get them all the first time around. Ooh, take that. And I'm already not beating my best time on this one. Usually by the third lap, I barely have anything left to boost with. Oh, I'm just taking them all right now, too. Now I might as well just enjoy them now and have a boring second lap, I guess. Come on. Final lap. I think I'm doing all right. I'm actually getting a better score now, but I also am out of boost, I think. I hate when these boats are bumping into me all the time, too. Get out of here. You can actually control in the arcade settings. You can control the, I guess, their AI difficulty, which is always defaulted to 60%, and 
And then I guess the other game difficulty is just a flat out. BKXC. BKXC. I'm. T I planned my stream. Is he okay? He's in the chat. Yep. I planned my stream at this time so I could catch your live stream after that. By the way. <laughs> uh, I wanted to see that. He said, Happy Easter, y'all. Setting world records in the garage. Trying. I actually beat several of my records, so that's that's true. But Happy Easter to you and Sarah also. Looks like you had a happier Easter riding in Bentonville. I'm jealous. I, I almost... Christine's trying to talk me into going up there while we're still, like, right before the busy season destroys us. But I don't know that I'm going to make it up. Okay, so, let me... Um, that's all the tracks. Let me show some of the hidden boats really quick. Hi! We'll start with Armed Response, which is... I have to actually look this stuff up usually. Pilot button three times. Since I messed up Ship Graveyard, I'm going to do Armed Response with no AI. Uh, which... Okay, well, where's the button? Thresher. There it is. So it's the police boat. I never really race with these, even though I see some people getting some insane times with the Blowfish uh, boat. But... I don't like how it controls, and I'm not that good, apparently. I always see that on console versions. That's a heck of a boost on this thing, though. Look at that. Saturn says, in Conquer Live and Reloaded, he plays on something reminiscent of a Game Boy Advance SP, and the music are shorter and altered tracks from the original Killer Instinct. Yeah, I remember if you leave them, you'll hear it, right? Oh, I've got to turn... I may turn the volume on the arcade up really quick uh, before we get to that spot. So you may not be able to hear me talking for a second. Okay, it's coming up, actually. Monkey Man said Happy on. Easter. There it is. Time extended! You hear that little, like, clip of uh, Sanford and Son music? You may not know what I'm talking about. But there is, a cl like, a tiny Sanford and Son that plays right there. I guess it's because we're in kind of like a junkyard. And I believe that's what they ran in the, the show. I, my dad used to watch it. I genuinely don't know. All I remember is, uh, I'm coming to see you. He'd always fake the heart attack. Remember? <laughs> and the guy actually reminded me of my dad and my grandpa, really. Let's take this secret really quick. This boat kind of sucks. It feels very heavy and slow. Whoa. BKXC says, awesome. Thanks, Chris. Yeah, y'all, uh... Monkey Man says, I gotta go right now. See you, buddy. All right, Monkey Man. See you later. See you later. Let me go ahead and get this boost since I'm not worried about time at the moment. <laughs> Pick a beats. Did you see the new TMNT beat 'em up game? Do you think the HP computer could run it? I assume you mean the one that's currently in arcades. Uh, I. It probably could if there was a dump for it. I don't think anyone's dumped the ROM yet for Techno Parrot, assuming that's how it's going to run. Um, but you probably need a graphics card, like a, an added graphics card, something like that. So now I'm going to play as Blowfish. Highlight the hazard. What is the hazard? Interesting. Oh, Rad Hazard. They didn't put Rad in front of it. Let's play. All right, so Blowfish is the one everyone gets crazy uh, times with. So let me try it with no AI. I said, no, there's a new one. Rad Hazard. Oh, there is a new one. I did not know that. Pilot button three times. Blowfish. This thing handles like complete crap. But it's incredibly fast. It's a new game that's coming out for console. Okay, well, it probably can run it. You're just going to have to probably have a graphics card no matter what. I would get like a GT 1030 or just check the specs of the PC version and compare them. I can tell you the uh, HP I do has like a 3.2 gigahertz processor. I'm not even going for that. Oh my god, this thing handles horribly. Look at that. Night Yoshi's here. He says, what did I miss? You missed a lot of gameplay so far. Okay, this thing sucks. I don't know how... Actually, I'm already close to beating my best time so far, but man, it's... It is difficult to control, and it just completely did a U-turn on me. Wow. Oh, cool. So I'm not... I'm not getting the hang of this, but if you watch some of the speedruns people do on the console... Using this boat, they get some crazy times. Like, the boat basically just flies when they do certain things with it. There we go. Finally got some boost. The boost helps tremendously. What, what's the guy's name that Brian's right with? Terry. Terry. Was Terry able to get his uh, brake lever fixed today? Good question. I forgot to even ask him that earlier on. I, I texted him, but 
was, I was blown away. I was too distracted by his streaming quality while on a mountain bike. <laughs> I mean, it was baffling. That guy does some excellent stuff. I still need to look up his video, but I, I, we were in the car and I, I couldn't do it. Oh my god. Oh my god, I can't steer this thing. Saturn says, fun fact, when Killer Instinct, Cinder Infinite Combo, and another glitch was discovered, Nintendo sent teams to patch all of the machines, all 17,000 of them. Interesting. I've, I, uh. I don't know that I've actually heard that, because you could still do it. Like, I could still do the, the it's infinite, in version yeah. 15, or 1.5D is the funny thing. Like, if you, it's not as easy to do, maybe, but I know I can still do it. Um, I know they went, and, I know when, like, MK4 was out, they would send people out to patch the different revisions, but that was it. That was a, that's an impossible boat to use. I that wish you guys... sounds like some facts we heard from someone else. I mean, it, it may be true, but I'd no, have to... I'm, I'm, I know, I'm, but okay. I'd have to have some, uh... I'd love to see where the proof is for that, because I've never actually heard that. Yeah, because you did the infinite glitch to just today. No, no. that was the the up and down loop oh, deal. Okay. All right, now I'm going to play as Chum Dinger, which is one of my favorite hidden boats. It is a... Like a little fishing boat with a tiny little motor and an old man in it. Oh, wait, what is I got to do? Razorback and press pilot three times. The little dog on the front of the boat, when you boost, all he does is bark at everybody. Ah. So you'll hear him barking and, you know, the little old fella's in there steering it. Chum Dinger. Killer game. Chum Dinger. Shit. <laughs> what? Killer game shit. Is yes. This, okay. Off topic, but I'm so pumped. I just finished my Mortal Kombat Arcade 1-Up mod. I did the custom bezel with all the moves and fatalities, four pound springs, and the octagon gates for easy fatality. Oh, nice. Yeah, because the, the ones it comes with is just not good. <laughs> I'm going to miss that boost altogether. And Richie then... Ace says, what's up, Chris? Hey, Richie. I'm going to turn it up really quick so you can hear the dog barking. He's barking at anybody who's in front of him, I guess, technically. Alright, back to racing. I love that I can change the volume very easily, though, without having to mess up the entire gameplay. Oh boy, this thing handles really odd. Frank says, nice KGS. Okay. I don't know what that is. I don't either. Yeah, I'm sure it's something, and maybe he's seeing... Oh no, he can't see much. I actually just about cut my finger off in there. Or I hit my knuckle on something, and I think it's bleeding now. I get hydro rust in my... Wait, what? Seriously? What? You just cut yourself? Yeah, reaching into the arcade, I hit something. Yeah, I skinned off a chunk of my uh, knuckle. It was already, like, I must be hitting something in there, working on this thing, because it was already, I noticed it already hurt the other day, and I think I just hit something, not looking. Just, you know, shoving my hand, oh god, shoving my hand in there to get it. So this, the boost on this thing's really cool. It's a fast boat, and the dog's hilarious and all, but it handles really weird. The name's funny, though. Chum Dinger! Night Yoshi says the dog is officially the best character in the game. Yeah, because there's really not any characters in the game. One thing this game lacks is any kind of story mode. Yeah, I definitely got myself there. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, there's the camera. It's too dark. You see? Oh. There we go. The camera's there with some light. Not a big deal. I'll live. I don't know what I'm hitting in there, though. i got to figure that out. Uh, <laughs> i got one more hidden boat really quick, but go ahead. Then Frank says the guy's name that did the MK build, I abbreviated his name. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Killer, killer game shit. K KGS. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's do Greek Isles, because it's an easy track, and this boat handles very odd. I think you have to do Tidal Blade and Pilot Button three times. Tiny Tannic. Night Yoshi, guess you can say you put your blood sweat, blood and sweat into that cabinet. Then. I guess so, yeah, literally. I put my hand in it yesterday. Uh, you'll see it on, actually you won't see it on, on video probably for a couple of weeks, but I had to put my hand in the mystery hole at yesterday under the seat. And I won't lie, it was a little freaky because there could have been some weird spiders living in here still. And who knows what's oh, and in just there. Just the weird fuzzy dust that was all over it. The like dust that is on this cabinet and in this cabinet is bizarre. I think it's pizza greasy air dust. And it's actually handling pretty nicely, by the way. So the uh, rear smokestack flips backwards and turns into the boost. And then I get this guy out of my way. The thing turns like a Titanic, though, I'll tell you that. 
which is actually kind of good in a weird way because you can't make squirrely weird turns and fly off the side of the map. I don't think I'll be beating any high scores in it, but she's seaworthy. Stay away from the icebergs. Don't take it on the Arctic Circle level, right? Mm. Yeah. You heard it. You didn't. You didn't. You were too busy reading. Didn't laugh. What? I'm, I'm driving the tiny Tannic. Don't take it no. on the Arctic Circle. <laughs> Dad joke without kids. The boat's a little. Yeah, Riley says I hope there's no iceberg. Yeah. Did, 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 did. Whatever he says in the movie. Here we go. Let's get this jump. Oh, that thing. That thing feels like it has some heft to it. Oh, I hate when that happens. It's hard to see. Kind of chilly out here. I am not. I'm sitting in the hot seat though with the. Uh, you know, I think the monitor is letting off a little heat. Uh oh. Come on. Can I get first? Riley asks, "How is Miley?" She's, she's good. She's probably inside the room right under the door, just like. I think she's upset that we're out here and she's not with us. Yeah. Um. So. I think I've done all the, uh, oh, time trial mode. I don't know. I don't think, uh, I don't know if any of this stuff's for the arcade. Actually, it says arcade games. That may be all the stuff that, um, hold low and pilot buttons. Yeah, that's, that's, that's when you don't have AI players. So, I think I've done just about everything I can. Um, I'll, I'm not gonna necessarily end the stream right here because I can edit the end of it out later, but... For all the people that are watching this later, thank you for watching if you made it this far. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think of Hydro Thunder. Please check out my other videos on fixing up the arcade cabinet. It's my first ever real arcade cabinet, so it's been nice to play with it and try to get it working again. Uh, it wasn't really broken too badly in the beginning, but this throttle was snapped off and I had to replace all kinds of parts in that. Uh, you'll be seeing that video this Wednesday, actually, if it's not already, if you're watching this now. but. Um, anyway, if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend, and um, let me know if you beat any of my times on these levels. I, they're not my best times on all of them, but some of them I did hit my best times. So let me know what your best times are, and uh, subscribe for more arcade content, arcade 1-Up stuff, Hydro Thunder stuff, and maybe some new arcades in the future. I'm looking over at producer <laughs> here behind the camera, because... As you might be able to tell, we are in the garage, and this is the only room in the garage for an arcade currently. But there's room in storage. Maybe I could put this one away if I find another one I love. And I, anyway, I, I don't want to get too much into it. But the idea is, if I ever find a really good deal on one, if it's one I'm not super in love with, but enough to want to work on it, maybe I'll buy it, fix it up, and resell it, and that'll just be something fun to do on the channel. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'll see you on the next 